from a young age, my parents have always taught me to like try to strive for bigger things. Class clown for sure. I'm a ham. <laughs> so I'm basically like on my own. Like I just want to do something positive, like and that be the first one to go to college. I believe in the work that I do. I do believe in education. Good morning, how are you? Hey, how are you? Did you have a good summer? Good morning, how are you, Brian? If energy had a name, James, how are you, buddy? That name, good, good, would be Michael James, principal of Jefferson Junior Senior High School. Better. Speaking of names, Todo está bien. Mr. James, Muy bien, Pablo, tries to remember everyone's. Good morning, Sky. Good morning, Miguel. Morning, Preston. Morning, Nina. While reminding kids, you can't wear it at all. Of the dress code, and no butts, no boobs, no bellies, no backs. Establishing the rules is key, Principal James says. Fernando, over there. Because kids never used to follow them. Yeah, when I first started six years ago, this was like a, a mall. So the bell would ring for class to start, and the kids would just be circling. And we're like, um, it's time to go to class. Yeah. And they're like, eh. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> we've got some things to change around here. If change had a name, it might be Edgewater. Edgewater's um, absolutely gentrifying at the highest rate, and uh, a lot of families can't afford to live here anymore. New homes pushing out the cheap ones. Yet, this school draws from a part of Jefferson County that's more than 80% Latino and more than 90% low income. Many are homeless. And so we'll get 30, 40 kids on the first day that we don't even have in our system. You know, and then, and then on the other side, there's 30 to 40 kids who aren't here that never let us know they weren't coming. The first day means Principal James has problems to fix. So I have to make a schedule for a student that failed every class. But the first day also means hope. So 092 is a college reading and composition class. For senior Mason Ham, Jefferson is the school he was told to stay away from. I go to Jefferson and like that's kind of like we're kind of viewed as the ghetto school. For senior Ariadna Santos, Jefferson is the school that supposedly wasn't good enough for a top student. I took AP classes, so those like bumped up my GPA, so then I just ended up at the top. At the top from the bottom. This young senior is only 16 years old. But I've been the first since freshman year, so yeah. For both of them. I'm freaking pumped. <laughs> the first day. I'm excited. Is the beginning of the end. A little weird. It's a little surreal, I guess. I mean, it feels like just yesterday I was barely starting my freshman year, so to be starting my senior year is kind of scary. <laughs> I think we have great success stories. So we have these kids who who beat the odds, and we have these kids who who are willing to make a difference for themselves and their families. Me? Joseph Martinez goes to Jefferson with his family, two younger brothers. Yeah, I play football. I'm a receiver and cornerback. When they leave school. They all have to support the family. I just go to school, then go to practice, then go to work, and then go home, do work, and then go to sleep. Each category, circle, three, two, one. To keep up with school. I remember my Dominican father. Joe stays up till 1 a.m. doing homework. And then I wake up at like 7. Every single school day. Yeah, it's rough, but I mean, I do it. I'm tired. Jaylene Lacero knows that life. Yeah. When she's not at Jefferson. You're welcome, son. Okay, you're clocked in. She's working at Papa John's in Lakewood. Being my age and already got offered a management position, that's big. But Jaylene's not working to support family. She supports herself. My mom actually got incarcerated last year in February. Her father is homeless. It's hard. It's hard, but I just keep pushing through it. She works because at age 17, she is essentially on her own. It's like my home here. Everyone here, their family. Jaylene moved in with two co-workers. She is. Their general manager, their boss, Heather Atten. Not your typical 17-year-old. Not only became her friend, she became her biggest cheerleader. <laughs> two years ago, yeah. Jaylene nearly dropped out. My freshman and sophomore year, I kind of was a mess up. Like I was never coming to school. I had bad grades. Then she realized she didn't want to work at Papa John's her entire life. You gotta get my good side 
bro. So her junior year, Jaylene took five credit recovery courses on top of a full class load to catch up. Uh, my favorite teacher would describe me as a student as being positive, creative, full of life and laughter. Yeah. Now, the once almost dropout. Guys, I don't know what to say. Is running for student council. <laughs> She's happily struggling to make her campaign video. I want to be a class officer because <laughs> I can't do this, bro. The girl who didn't care okay. is now leading the school's drumline, <laughs> making Heather, her GM, proud. She's fought so hard, everything she does is a big deal. The teenager forced to grow up too fast. She found more than a job at Papa John's. Heather, the GM. Amazing, like always. She agreed to be Jaylene's guardian. I want to make sure that she's she's got someone looking out for her. These are the types of stories inside Jefferson Junior Senior High School. They're not just test scores. They're not just kids at the so-called ghetto school. It's a lot different place at Jefferson than it was uh, five, six years ago. This is a place trying to transform itself. I would say my biggest hope for this is that people see us for who we really are.